Uh, welcome. I'd like to give a demonstration of Lab um, 11 programming. Uh, now, most, let me shut the power off here for a moment. Shut the power off. <coughs> Don't move any wires without the, with the power on. So, most of you uh, picked up a, most of you picked up a five pin header right here, um, which uh, was called the JTAG. Now, if you want to put a female header in there, that's fine. Uh, I have a male header. And then if you look carefully, there are five signals there that you have to connect. Ground, uh, TDO, TDI, TMS, and clock. Okay? And uh, those five signals will be connected onto your launch pad with the same names. So tie TDO to TDO, TDI to TDI. Um, and you will find four of them in a row right here. Uh, and then you got to get ground from some weird place. You see I picked up ground <coughs> over here. Uh, now on the launch pad side, you have a couple of options. Uh, one option that this one demonstrates is I have a female to male cut wire, and I just soldered the five wires onto my launch pad. Uh, the other option would be to put a uh, male header uh, on your launch pad and then use a female to female connector. Uh, or a third option is just to solder the five wires down to both sides. Okay? There's, there's, there's no right answer. Uh, there's, all, there's just getting it done. All right? So there's a three options for connecting those five. Now, you do notice that the power is not between them. Okay? The power to the target is going to come from whatever power so source you have. Uh, in my case, I have a battery and that LP2950 uh, 100 milliamp regulator right here. And then the launch pad is going to be uh, also powered in the usual way from the USB. Now I'd like to zoom in and focus your thoughts on this header right here. You see this header right here? Okay. It's the only jumper on the launch pad. Pull it out. Okay. Don't connect it. Because what that'll do is it'll disconnect the power from this target. Okay? So this TM4C123 is with this jumper removed. And you can see I just twisted it 90 degrees and put it back down so I didn't lose it. But it's not connected. And so what we have here is this guy is unpowered. But I have the launch I have the TM4C123 over here connected up. So this launch pad is stupid. It doesn't know that this one's disconnected and that one is now connected. And so this system, well, let me plug the cable back in. And you notice how I use my little tape here so that I uh, uh, get my wires right each time. So I plug that in. So now my five wires are connected and this jumper is removed. I'm going to power up the two systems. Now it doesn't matter what order you power it up. Uh, but it is now powered up. Okay. Uh, if I were to have a, uh, an LED light, which I haven't soldered on yet, uh, it would have lit up because it's powered. Okay. But the launch pad's powered in the usual way. Um, my recommendation for the first program that you download is one which has no I.O. whatsoever. And so this is actually a 319K starter file called Simple Project. And it's, as you can see, it's actually assembly language. It's a random number generator. It has no useful purpose in 445L other than the fact that it doesn't do any I.O., which means can't cause a short or anything bad to happen with your external circuits. Okay? Uh, and so now uh, I'm going to debug my board just like it were a launch pad. Okay? And so I'm going to choose the, the, you know, the Stellaris ICDI, and I'm going to you know, download it, you know, build it, program it. And this is where you got your fingers crossed. If, you ever, if you've got God or gods, this is where you want to pray to the God or gods of your, of your life right here. Uh, that's a very happy that's a very happy thought, right? You see that programming done, okay? My TM4C123 works, okay? I'm very, very happy, okay? And 
Once you get programming done, please shout out to your TA because they get bonus points, TA bonus points for every, you know, Young Chin's rooting for his guys. Uh, are, they get bonus points for every project for which the students can program it, okay? Now, if you blow it up after this point, it's on you, okay? But they should have helped you lay it out in such a way that you can actually program it, okay? Uh, now this happens to be uh, this happens to be a lab 10 and so I could get my get my actual project now now we're debugging lab just like you debugged all the other labs which means what plug it all in and see if it works somebody say no right what I want you to do is incremental testing do a little bit little bit little bit can you flash a light can you get an input can you get an output little bits at a time, okay? And don't download the whole, you see how, uh, and, and you've seen that all semester, right? Because I have set up these main programs, okay? That's my statement to you that even though I'm 60, I'll be 62 years old on Sunday, uh, even though I'm old and done this hundreds of times, I always make mistakes. Always, always, always. So I'm, and, and, and I don't want to blow the board up. We can't have, make another one. So I'm going to do it sequentially. I'm going to test my PWM. I'm going to test my, uh, my input capture separately. I'm going to test my liquid crystal display separately. And then I'm going to put the pieces together, together, together up until it all works. All right? And so now at this point, I can actually run my program and debugging it is just like it were a launch pad, even though as you can see here, it's not a launch pad, it's a, it's a fun thing. So I can look at my, my outputs, uh, I can go my go, I can get out my oscilloscope, okay? Um, and my motors are spinning, there's my error, that error is way too big, come on error. I could have bugs, that error should be going smaller. Right, it's, oh look at that, it's saturated, it pegged. I've obviously got something broken, all right? But that's fine. Debugging is necessary. So you can see I got a runaway motor. The PWM pegged all the way to maximum, and my tachometer undoubtedly is not working. But not your problem, my problem. Uh, questions on the debugging process? All right, so uh, please read the, the, the Lab 11 stuff. All right.